Hello, it's Sarah, and today's video is a haul, you guys. I have to get back in the craft room. I, you know, my, my serenity has been wrapped up in creating for so long, and I've gotten away from it, and I need to get back. I have a haul. This is a mixing palette, but I'm going to use it to sort beads, because I saw Julie, um, my, Oh, I can't think of her name. Uh, Mazzoni. Anyway, she uses something like this because then when you put your beads out, you have a big place for them to sit and then you can work with them that way. Now, these I got at Joann's. These are all called, they're seed beads, but they're also um, like a let's see a bugle bead I call them a bugle bead let's see what they call them on here they're glass and look at this this is called spring fling and it's just got a bunch of different greens in it I wanted to create some more of these little guys some more of these gnomes and I have some other ideas I've been watching Julie Mazzoni's the way that she does hers so I got as many different colors of these as I could and these were on sale because they were 40% off I'm pretty sure this is just a super pretty kind of like a teal greeny blue gold silver but matte silver um, this is I guess bronze I want to say that's like a bronze color a smaller matte version of that and I thought I could make the faces with this color we'll see and then this is not quite, it's not white, it's clear with like an A-B coating. So I got all of these at, at uh, Joann's and this green. I also got some of these little rounds because I would like to make, and I'm going to use epoxy sculpt for these. I got my big epoxy sculpt. I think I got it in the bronze color. So I'm going to put, cover these discs with epoxy sculpt. And I'm just going to make the Al-Anon symbol. It's a triangle for the three uh, branches of service. So anyway, and then a circle for the fellowship in the middle. And I'm going to make little pins, I think. I also found this, which was awesome, by Hildy and Joe for resin craft. It's micro beads, they call it. But they're kind of, they're little gems. Um... So I don't, they're not Swarovski crystal evidently, you know, I mean, but they're close enough for me. And they come in these little uh, screw top jars. So I definitely could play around with these. This was the only color pack they had. They had sequins, they had micro beads, actual micro beads, which I have. But there's some black crystal, yellow, white. This is like gold. I don't know like green green and blue mixed and this is kind of like a black and purple I'm just I'm so excited to play with and I, I think I spent around at least 50 bucks so I went pretty hard um, I got some eggs some Easter eggs I figured I could Julie uh, Weilbacher she has a tutorial out right now for making Easter eggs so I figured I'd give them a shot since it is Easter right around the corner, happy St. Patty's Day, by the way. It is St. Patrick's Day as I'm shooting this. And this is going to be my God box. So in Al-Anon, we also uh, try to give our problems to our higher power to handle. So we don't try to control everything. And one of the ways to do that is to literally write it down, what's bothering you. Because I tend to obsess over things and... Um, rethink it and rethink it and rethink it and it takes my serenity away so if I, I'm going to plan on writing it down and putting it in here and then maybe after a year of time goes by look back and see just how really kind of frivolous or trivial the things are and it, it might help me to just take it easier and not don't sweat the small stuff or something but anyway people have talked about them a lot and I thought well I want to make a super pretty God box to put my wishes or my things that I want to give to God in here um, I also went to Hobby Lobby on the way home yesterday and I already took a lot of this stuff out of the packaging because I wanted to look at it but I got this big gnome this was a two two ninety nine. 
and I just thought I'm going to make a mosaic out of him, not probably with the uh, epoxy sculpt or beads. I'm just going to use regular tiles and make a little gnome because it is spring, you guys. Spring is springing. And I got more packs of the gnomes, the original gnome pack that I loved because I, I know I can do better. I'm really hoping, like this guy, I think if I use all bugle beads, it just will give it a different vibe, and I wanted to see, I don't know if I got, whoa, good, I got white. These are called straight bugle. That's what they call them, white luster. I'm going to use this. Now, I mean, a gray beard's not bad, so I have one guy with a gray beard, but I want to use a white beard. I have him with a black beard. I'll probably do a brown beard, a red beard, every color beard. But um, I want to try a few other techniques and styles to get these to look the way I want them. Like, I'd like to be able to define their hands a little better. Um, we'll see. I mean, if this is as good as it gets, that's fine. But I've been also looking at applique pins. So they're really beaded, but they're with stringing the beads on a piece of felt. And I think I can get a similar look but I might have to use wire or something to make outlines. So we'll see, we'll see what I'm gonna do. Um, I got more gnomes because they're just adorable. So I have another one, I have at, at least two more of the little gnomes of each. A Couple more, they come with a uh, mushroom. And I think I could mosaic these, just mosaic it. Maybe I'll make one to go with him, you know, make two. And then I can put them on a board or something, you know, make a little welcome sign. Uh, so I have those, and then I got more beads. Now these were not on sale, and I went a little crazy. Look at all of these, though. For $3.99, I got these when I could have gotten this for $2.99. Why wouldn't I get this? So this was, I was thinking I would use this on the eggs, on the Easter eggs. I could really outline things, or I could outline things on these. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I could outline the hat. Like just outline everything. Outline the whole design and then fill in. That might be a way to go to make it really like for us to be able to see the, the full design. So this was a good value I thought. Um, and I did I get gold? I got a different kind. So see I didn't repeat. I'm very happy. It's a different color. This is more like a yellowy gold and this is a real gold these were from Joann's um, what else I got these are called amethyst and they're kind of twisted too they have like a twist to them these are a matte color smaller version of like a turquoise it's called opaque turk this is a hot pink fuchsia straight bugle fuchsia and this again is a smaller some are long, some are short. This green, it just said spring to me. It's called lime, lime green. Then I got this for the face color too. This is just like as peach as there was. It's called terracotta. Oh no, terra dyed rose, something like that. And it's a seed bead, but it's a little bit bigger than the seed beads I used on here. So I'm going to play around because it's a little, I think it's smaller than these. So it's in between the two sides that I use so far for faces. I got this gorgeous blue, light blue they call it, but I would say that's a true cobalt. This is red, and I don't have a lot of red in my stash, so I was so happy to see both of these reds. Like this would be a good mouth or a lip, a couple of lips. On him I used a pink because that's all I had, and you can hardly see it. And on him I used, I like this one though, it's a different shape. It's a little bit more of a square. But I think using this is going to make a nice looking lip. And then this red, which is like a longer twisted kind of iridescent red. So I'm all set when it comes to the bugle beads now. And this white, this green, and lots of metallics but look at this teal so like maybe I could do something with these two teals as far as like a hat you know um, and like with these two brass colors I was thinking of this for the faces but I think I could just incorporate it into the design um, 
all of these. And then I got some music notes because I have a couple of friends who are really musicians. And they, I was thinking I could make them pins with these music notes. And then this is called, I think this is called the treble, right? The treble clef or something. So I have two of them, four of these. But they're small little projects that I thought I could whip out. I got some more of these crosses that I loved when I dotted them. And I, I will compare when I... I'm going to attempt to put the gems. I was thinking of these specifically with gems, and I have bigger gems, but I think I could really bling these out and make some cool crosses. And maybe I would even put one on top of my guide box, but I also got these, which I thought would be a good pin, like a good pin size. And I think some bugle beads could fit on the side, so I could like just encrust the whole thing. I mean, that fits, but I was kind of thinking I was going to mosaic this. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Burn it. Wood burn it. Um, I'm going to come up with something. It, maybe I could do doves and angel. Just write hope. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of ideas that I could do for a, a God box, but um, I just wanted to share what I got. I'm, ex I'm inspired. I have some ideas. I think, some, I think I'm going to mix up some epoxy sculpt today and even do like one of these little um all I have to do is kind of make a triangle um to create a uh al -Anon symbol just make a triangle I was thinking of using like a cookie cutter and so that I could get a size and then a circle in the middle and I could just bling that out. So I think that's what I'm going to work on. Something small. Maybe one of these little crosses. And just put a big gem in the middle. And then little gems all around the center. And then... I don't know. Maybe a cool triangle looking thing here. Some triangles. And a diamond here see what I come up with. I'm going to look through what um, I got from the kit that I ordered from uh, Christy Friesen, which that's right here, because she sent me some cool shaped gems that I could use as, oh, there's beads in here. They're very round. I think I'm going to use the, um, the gems that she sent me, like these. Look, there's a definite, you know, diamond shape. So I think some of these gems are going to be a cross. Um, and I might frame, for the bigger ones, I could frame that out with, like, ball chain. I could just put ball chain all the way around the edge. Or bling chain. I'm going to try and look through my stash and find stuff. So I'll be in here more often, you guys. So hopefully I'll share with you what I'm making. Um, I have really pulled back from crafting because I've been studying and learning about um, Al-Anon. But... Just for today, I'm going to take a break on that, and I'm going to work on getting my serenity back in the craft room because that's always worked for me. Look at this. See, there's a couple bugle beads in here. There's some square ones that I like. So having this from um, Christy gives me ideas of what types of stuff that I can work with. Why can't I just squish all of that onto here? Who knows? I might, I might just do it. This is kind of a flat gem. Then there's a bunch of little ones. So I'm excited to just play around and see where my muse takes me, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm on a different path these days, and I've been out of the craft room, but I'm coming back. All right? That's it. Thanks for watching.